everyone, this is Zero Prime, and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. Now, this is the final episode as well on the fifth and final game episode of this game. And now we get to see how everything wraps up. I mean, now we found out that it's not Nathan. Well, it could still be Nathan that he could be like a pawn. But we did find out that somehow Mr. Jefferson is involved in all this as the mastermind for whatever reason. Well, let's see how this goes. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel and the over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Mac? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like this? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Wah, dun, dun. Huh? Well, it's time for what our final decisions will have in the impact of this game. Let's do it. There we go. Ah, uh, great. We're in the dark room and strapped to a chair. Nothing creepy about that, right? Yeah, life is strange. Okay. Oh, great. Victoria's here. Chloe? What? Where? It's a dark room. Okay. 
Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh oh. Victoria, wake up! Wake up! Ah, oh, great, she's drugged. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Okay, that's got to be a way. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I don't remember anything that happened. Alright. Guess we go back and see what happened. I promise I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh, that's messed up. Oh, that's great. Oh, God. Oh, Max. I'm afraid. Slightly unconscious while he was often the most open and honest. Vanity, posing, just pure expression. Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there. Stay still. Oh, great, he's crazy. Always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move. Uh, she's drugged out of her mind, you moron. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24 7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right. Into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise. People will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. He's really crazy. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! 
You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Up. So, what did that one action do? Ah, the folder. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so, yeah, the folder's gone, now we have more pictures. Okay, is she awake? Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where, where are we? What's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. <laughs> Hold on, Victoria. Nobody is gonna die. Anymore. Whoa, her eyes are weird. What's going on? I thought you said Nathan was dangerous. But it was actually Mark? Mr. Jefferson? I was wrong. I should have known that Nathan couldn't do all this on his own. Do what? What's going to happen to us? Oh, please get us out of here. I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? i do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Okay. Now let's take a look. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay. Focus. This might work. Please work. There we go. Excuse <coughs> me. Some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. 
replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? <laughs> Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. Exactly. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. My pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Here we go. You use Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated, like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often, teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Hmm. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. Huh? That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody Loved having that picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, 
I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Hmm. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. All right, here we go. But wait, we're already back in time in the photo. What would happen if we went back in time in the photo that we're in a back in time with? Came out. I can wait. Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Oop. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen. Gonna happen when we actually go back in time while being back in time. Um, Max, this could be your chance to fix everything for good. Here we go. There we go. Whoosh. Frame any one of you in a dark corner. And capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic. Right picture. back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. Portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, here we go. The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes to change time. San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the first. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Okay. Have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Let's see. Is there something? I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. All right. Found you. Okay, now we got the number. Here we go. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. There we go. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. 
And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Okay. Well, the past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Yeah, and that's also Victoria. It's nice to know how you really feel. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. I'm afraid that all this is now causing the storm to be worse. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max? That makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Yay! Hugs! Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Alright. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Now, is there anything else around here? I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. Yeah, because of the hurricane? I'd like to bust this up right now. All right, uh, here we go. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. That's okay, too. There she goes. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. There we go. So let's see what happens now. Okay, so... That still happened. That still happened. Uh... 
Well, that's different. Oh. Okay. And then... Yeah, this is good and all, but there's still the, the um, town destroying tornado that's coming. Are we back back or are we still in the past photo that we were in before we went further back in the past? Man, that's confusing. Nope, we're still in the past. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. <coughs> Good work, David. Nice. Oh, you're alive. <coughs> oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Uh, Sir. again, hurricane still coming. You haven't fixed that one. Okay, let's take a look around. seen hot dog man in forever Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time when we were innocent please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate thank you we're starting our descent in a few minutes it's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees we hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air Fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop one. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, then. We're not even there. Uh-oh. Just screwing around with time. Yeah, no kidding. You're messing with the fabrics of reality. Like right now.
There we go. Nice photography images. <clears throat> San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Hmm. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Yeah, but there's still that hurricane, though, that we haven't solved. Actually, do I have even photos here? Huh. How about life is strange? That is to go exposure. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Make you want to go buy an instant camera. Damn, I bet that film costs a fortune. Hmm. The man there, but why? I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Hmm. Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Ah, eh, let's forget the camera thing. Save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Uh oh. Yeah, you forgot about that detail. Are you okay? 
We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Uh oh. Where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, stuck. can you hear me? Hello? She's dead. Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Well, that'd be kind of hard to fix. Acadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Well, the only photo we have is the your winning photo. You pay for that. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Well, here we go. There we go. Got it. You are officially screwing it up. Apparently, the previous timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Are you serious? Uh, one problem though. Sorry, San Francisco. Uh, that made things a bit worse because without that photo... Uh-oh. Yeah, we're back in the dark room again. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, fuck. God, no. I'm back here again. I thought I fixed everything. No, you didn't. What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. Transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh. As if you care. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. 
beast. Sorry. I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Uh-oh. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said... Something weird. There's that... These images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no one knows Blades. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Ah, crap. This is not good. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Uh, oh. Let's go back. There we go. I promise you. No one knows me. Wait, hold on. <coughs> Can I please ask you for one last request? Oh. You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Well, let's see. throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Alright, there we go. Here we go. Wait. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Here we go. No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Ah, crap. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. You are not going to stop me. Here we go. Boom! Gotcha! Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Phew! He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. 
he burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. There we go. Shit. No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. Okay. Good God. It's a studio. I, just look at <coughs> it. it. makes me want to vomit. Oh, I want to burn all these photos. I hate looking at me like that. Hmm? Wrong one. I want to burn. Damn. Jefferson torched everything. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. Jefferson looks so pathetic now. I had no idea he was this sick. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. And I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun, and I almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys well. You had each other. Here we go. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. I'm sure you know I... Uh, I hit her the other day. I know you're sorry. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Who kept all those files? I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she? She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. And I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? Oh, crap. Um, 
Well, at this point, there's no point in hiding the truth, so we might as well tell the truth. I mean, what's the worst going to happen? David. Uh, Chloe is... is... dead. This isn't happening. He can't... No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you, are you sure? Are you... Yes, I... I saw her. I... I saw a... Jefferson Keller in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I... God damn it! killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, uh. wait! Whoa! I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, uh, thank you for saving me. Don't do anything crazy. I lost again. And always lose. I've seen so many people die this week. Now Jefferson. I feel numb. I'm going to save you for the last time. Julie. There's no way I'm leaving your necklace here. Well, I could go back in time and not tell him, but... Right under my nose. At this point, since I'm going to go back to that point where... Warren took the photo. I'll be able to change all of this. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm's real. I need to find the right. Yes. Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah. But why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk <coughs> Okay, me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Alright, here we go. We're gonna drive for the storm. I 
Listen to them, though, have been warning you people for years that our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those taxes? Oh, shut up. You have one new message. Hmm? Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Say what? Max, it, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or... or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody... Me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, he's coming for me now. All this shit, be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Hmm. At least in his final hour, or he died a decent person by trying to warn Max, at least. And you do feel bad about him. Then again, you could blame his father for not getting him the help he needed, but eh, let's not get too political. Alright, here we go. It's the end of the world as we know it. That trucker. That guy is trapped. I have to help everybody I can. You okay? Once I get the hell out of here, I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shit old town. Better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. A little bit more. There we go. See that tornado? Get the hell out of here. Max, there's no way I can pass up these images. Just look at it. Just take a picture when you're dead. Now look at us. Okay, if you insist. Whoa, Max. You do know things. You're such an idiot. Only if you don't find the safe spot until we float over. Okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. Have to help somebody else first. Shit. Alyssa needs help again. She's always getting herself into trouble. Here we go.
Anyone else around here? No, okay. Oh great! Fire! Fire bad! Fire bad! How can I get out of here? Hey, I gotta turn on the water system. Oh, the fuse box. This should help out. There we go. Oops. He's dead. Electrocuted. I don't goof that one up. Hang on. Okay, hang on. If I could turn back time. Please, 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 please. Come on. You have to get out of here right now. I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. Okay, now we can. Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. You should get out of here. The whole town is dying. Okay, I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. There we go. Oh, that fire's not good. And is that a oil trail? Oh, bugger me. Oh. Okay, go all the way back. There we go. The sand. Use it. There we go. Yes. Phew. Up there. Oh, end of the world photo. Here we go. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning. Go get him, Julia. Hmm. Has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. Here we go. Through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce. It's all we have. Are you okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Okay. So glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. No music. 
No, no, I'm just a pussy. Sorry. Party is over. This vortex is much bigger. It's so hard to believe people were eating breakfast here only a few hours ago. Nah, I don't think it's a time probably time. Oh, doggy. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Oh boy. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? Um. I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David hold up someplace. Bad choice of words for Chloe. All this choice. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Ah. Uh, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. He has no one should. Mm. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry. And I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. And Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? Uh. David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe. Even if he couldn't show it, David needs you more than ever. And I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. You know, after he and Chloe. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. All right, well. We had to let Frank know we found Rachel. Unfortunately, not alive. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. No, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Uh, yeah. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk. Papa do hated him. Yeah. He saw. He saw Rachel. 
Yep. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he, he killed her. How? How did he kill her? He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I knew she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. Hmm. I know. Neither were Chloe. I knew Chloe and her were close. And I was jealous, but uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Uh, well, at least now he knows the truth. Well, let's get that photo and get out of here. I hate to say I'm glad to see you. So glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. You just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh, yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? Yeah, we tenderly started the storm and everything happened. I think that the storm started and everything started when I found and out. And her mouth's not moving. Time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse. The birds, the whales, everything. All oh, because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Oh, what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? Here we go. He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? There's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Hmm. Warren, I know this all sounds insane, 
But you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. If you're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us more Exactly. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Yay! Come on, Joyce. Focus on the people here. Well, hey, be careful out there. Well, you know what? Let's kiss him. Because it's the last time I'm going to see him, so. For luck. There we go. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say. I know, Warren. Of course you do. Hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. All right, here we go. There we go. Whoosh! We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, we were in. To Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait. Listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Here we go. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I. Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is going to turn out, and... I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. 
Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? Here we go. I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and... You... You asked me to... End your life. I did. For you... I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. Have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's that's why you should come with me so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max. But do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David. He'll believe us, and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything. Including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen. In a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David. And we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? Hmm. I'll always believe you, Chloe. There we go. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, that never happened. There we go. And then, there we go, right in front of the storm. Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up! Oh, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, both of us! I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. Worked, actually worked. You're with me again. <laughs> Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And we travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on, I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're a Max fucking colorful time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better boss. No. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously for myself. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. 
and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Oh, hey, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe. Uh oh. I've got your back, Alex. Now what? Whoa. What the? Alfred Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. I I'm back in class. What the hell? These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. And I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. Yeah, how did we get here? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and don't freak What the? Wait, what the? Yet. What? The hell? Um, guys, birds are crashing into the window. Hello. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. Ah, what's going on? Moment of desperation. The hell? Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. No kidding. What happened to the birds? Oh, that's too creepy. What the? What? Well, what? What's going on here? You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Not yet, you bastard. The heck's going on? Holy shit. All these dead birds. Uh, this can't be real. Okay. What the? Okay, that's still the same. What the hell's going on? Rachel didn't deserve any of this. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. Okay, let's get out of here. I see you, Max Caulfield. What? Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Um, where did you come from? I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Why? Your purity inspires me so much. And we could be so happy. The hell? Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? What? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. My selfies are shit. Thanks for killing Chloe. Oh, dark room. What the hell? I'm going for the square. I like to think of it as... Our dark realm. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm. Of course, Max. I can capture you over and over. You can be my model for life. And death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. 
Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. The hell is going on? This can't be real. I don't believe it. Yeah, I mean, what the heck's going on? What the? Uh, how do we end up here? Kate? Uh, what's going on? Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend What the? You? you never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. <coughs> what the? Way up. Uh... What the? Okay, what the heck is going on? Let's check out my room real quick. What the? Okay, let's go to my room then. 218. What the? Why am I in Rachel's clothes? And why is my. I mean, Rachel's room back? Why am I Victoria? What the hell's going on? I is confused. Oh. And now I'm Max again. What the hell's going on? Is time going crazy with all the time travel we did? What? Oh great, now everything's going backwards. Okay, I think time is officially broken. Oop. Is the music playing backwards? Even the names are backwards. What the? The deer. Now what? What? Oh crap! Don't try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me capture you. How about no? How about a big no? Jefferson is coming after me, Max. Dave. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. 
Keep on sneaking, keep on sneaking, gonna sneak around and... Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Okay, there he is. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. You deserve it! I'll be safe in the lighthouse. What is happening? Maybe I'll wake up. Spark, Max. I thought I could be your professor. Life. How about no, you creep? Now get over here. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. I miss those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. I want to be your professor again. How about no? I can teach you so much. Okay, so avoid the spotlight. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Let's call No. Ugh. This is messed up on beyond reasoning. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play. Why is Warren after us? Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go, Abe? Go, Abe, go, Abe, babe, babe. He didn't find out who went through my Max? files. Get in the car. I'll I'll sick take David Madsen on their ass. Come over here, young man. Crap. Max. Nope. Please come here. So I can beat you up. Cut you open, freak. Whoa. Those were my beans, Max. Those were my fucking beans. What? What did I do? Okay, go this way. I sure hope you don't. If only you could have seen Rachel, my blood spattered angel. Me. <sighs> Oh. Okay, come on. Made it. Shoo. What the heck is going on here? Like time is literally screwed up. Oh, now it's snowing again. Wait, what? What the heck? Made in Taiwan? We're in a snow globe? Back when William was alive. Crap! Uh oh Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast for Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wing. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. 
situation. Excuse me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen of the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to are ridiculous. Tomorrow. You'll be grateful for that someday. Oh boy. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Whoa. The photo. This is when we bend the photo in order to prevent com from coming back here. What the? Uh, what the? What the hell? That's not very comforting. Ah, uh, what the heck? This is whoa where we're going now. What the? How long will this nightmare go on? The heck's going on? Okay, how do I get out of here? What the? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Wait, what? Oh, Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Holy huh? shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. Guess she's not as innocent as she acts. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. Come here. Um. God damn, you're a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shock a bra. The Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. The hell? I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Okay. Well, Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Is this giving me a hint of what I'm supposed to do? Now we're back in the bathroom of the diner. Okay. I'd be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Yeah, but unfortunately... Don't know. Okay. Numbers are all over. How will I find the right code? This is horror movie crap right here. Uh, wait a minute. Zero three one one. Okay. Three one one. Okay. Now what? The heck? Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Shit, Max. 
I thought we were on the same team. Now I'll die alone. Max, I hope you do the right thing. I hope. I can't believe you kissed Honey, me. Honey, I always thought of you like now a daughter. Now you're going to kill me? And now you're going to take me away from my family. Why would you do that? Max, you're exactly the kind of soldier I'd want by my side in a war. Son of a bitch, this is going to hurt. What the heck's going on? So this is how Max gets her revenge on. Max, you saved my life. Bring me the chance to catch. Thanks for saving fish. me. Carrying the load, good buddy. That's a big ten four. This is not how I wanted to spend my last hour on Earth. Max, can you call my mother in Portland and tell her that I love her? I know I haven't been the best principal to you, but you've been a great everyday hero for us. Please save us. My husband and new baby will have to go without me. Max, don't let the squad have been with been yourself friends, after Max. this. But please, don't let me die like this. I'm still a teenager. Max, I'm truly, I truly am sorry for being such a bastard. You would have been cool to hang out with. I just don't want everybody else to suffer like me. Yet there's me over there still moving. Don't let the squirrels die. You've always had my back. Please, and Max, now you're going me. to let me die. We can finally have our Thanks, tea Max. session. Max, oh, Max, I want you to know how much confidence what exactly you have. What the heck's going on? Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? You were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> huh? What about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? You think she's worth all that? Wait, is this Max time itself? What does this all mean? to be my destiny to save her. I wouldn't be trapped in here if I didn't believe that. No kidding. Chloe trapped you with her drama. Guns, drugs, Rachel. Even stealing money from the handicapped fund. She's just using you, dude. Like, she even asked you to end her life and do what she couldn't do by herself. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy. What the? Oh hell! Speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. 
After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. Okay, so that thing that Max was like time itself personified. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Or a storm is coming? Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Okay. So what is this all... It's all leading up to the lighthouse. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl one. Show me the way to Chloe's game. Hmm. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? I don't feel so super. Uh, Max, here, um, let me help you find a place to chill. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? Okay. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in crime. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on, Caesar. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, Sissa. Hmm. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you are. Oh. Why look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Yeah, I know I'm a little bit quiet, but right now I'm just trying to piece this all together. Soaked in chemicals. Hide! Hide! You 
you can't go back to your dorm now, you're a black belt fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. Feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Yep. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh. oh. We could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I know that he loved Cruise. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would she wasn't much of a friend, huh? It's another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Oh. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> what the heck is all this adding up to? It's oh. Weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What if photographers call that? The golden hour. Whoa, awesome picture. She looks so badass in her pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Oh. Chloe, you're back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Hmm. are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning the dose with tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all punk shots, right? Right? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Th then we can see the pieces. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. We're getting close. Rachel? No, Rachel, no, no. Please, not her. Chloe. Rachel, please. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so 
sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? <laughs> That's still sad. But we're at the lighthouse. Come on, Max. We're almost there. Wait, we're getting back to my body. Please wake up, wake up. Here we go. Here we go. Max, this is the only way. Wait, what? I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You, you could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To fuck that. No, no way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm at a fucking diner. Even my my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real. And they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose. I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe. I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Oh. Oh, God. Uh, nah. 
Okay, this is really a hard choice to make. I mean... Yeah, I know I'm familiar with this saying, one person dies and a thousand are saved. And then the other reverses, a thousand people die, one person is saved. I mean, yeah, it's obvious that, you know, a lot of people's lives outweigh one life, but... It's not easy when that one life is someone that close to you. I mean... Even though it's two choices, in reality, there is no right answer for this. I mean, we don't sacrifice Kalori, you know, don't go back in time and allow her to be killed by Nathan. Then the entire town and everybody in it will die. But if we don't do that, then... <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna do this. I still have my half, do half a dollar coin. Okay, heads, we sa we save Chloe. Tails, we save the town. Okay, and of course I am gonna go back to this point and play the other scenario. But for this first pick, we'll let fate decide. Ironically. Well, we have to save the town. It's Tails. Uh, it's not easy. Because I really like Chloe, but uh, this is painful. Ow. Max. It's time. Chloe. I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Aww. Here we go. One life dies, a thousand are saved. But still one life that can never be replaced. And I want to lead the blue butterfly for the butterfly effect. Maybe it won't happen if we get lucky. Maybe? Nope. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! There it is. The real destiny that's supposed to happen. 
Chloe was supposed to die that day. And by altering that fate, we introduced a paradox. And quoting from Leg Legacy of Kane series, History abhors a paradox. But now, sadly, time is back on its normal track. But at what cost, though? At what cost? Because again, there are no, there is no right answer. It's impossible. Here we go. He gets taken down. Oh, that's where he confesses. Oop. Uh, oh, this is hard to watch. Yep, the storm's gone, and everything's back to normal. Maybe that deer, ghost deer, wasn't Rachel. Maybe that deer was. The mini max is in the timelines, maybe. Maybe, I mean, who knows? Well, Kate's still alive. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm chewing up a little bit. I'm not gonna deny that.
That's Frank. There's the butterfly. Although the question still I have is, does she still have her time powers though? Because if I'm theorizing this correctly, she got her powers when she saw Chloe get killed and she wanted to stop, but somehow that manifested the power to happen. Wow. Okay. Really, that's it? Oh, there's more. Let's see. It's gone during the fight. He killed Jefferson. No, oh, they didn't kill? Hmm. Save Chucker, you save Dad, you save Ashley, you save the fisherman. Oh, a lot of people did it. Hmm. He told the truth about Rachel to Frank. She kissed one. Huh, okay. Alright. Oh, that's still sad though, but anyway, I'm gonna cut to back to that scene again to see if I can pick the other option and we'll see what happens, so I'll be right back. Okay, had to watch through the entire cutscene again to get to this point, so... We already chose the path that we sacrificed Chloe in order to save the town. So what happens if we go in the other direction? Max? It's time. Not me. Oh. Oh boy. Yep. In the end, everybody dies. And Arcadia Bay is wiped up the face of them. Well, not completely wiped up, but I don't think anybody survived this. A lot of deer, though. How did Chloe's truck survive?
Uh, we would like to, but it's gone. That's it? Of course, now this poses a problem here because technically Chloe was still supposed to die, and now I have a feeling that it's going to be truly the end of the world of all the paradox happening, unless the paradox has been satisfied with the destruction of the town, but who knows, but anyway, that was Life is Strange, and I can see the reason why a lot of people like this game, and I really did enjoy it as well, so... Whew! Especially like this story, which is very top-notch, so whoever made this, good job on that. Uh, okay. Well, that's all there is to this, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying this Let's Play as I have, and as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a comment below, subscribe for more video updates, share us on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias, and don't forget to like button to help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.